Hello, everybody. Darren Cross here. Welcome to week 10 uh, business math, business 149. This week, we're going to be talking about promissory notes, simple discount notes, and the discount process in general. It's going to seem um, a little bit familiar because it's kind of like what we were talking about in chapter 10, but it's a little bit different. It's, it's basically essentially making a loan in a different kind of way, and we'll talk about that. Um, so let's just dig right in here. All right. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is talk about the structure of a promissory note. And basically a promissory note, when we think about a promissory note, it's like we borrow money and then we sign saying that we're going to pay. When we're talking about discounted notes, it's really kind of a different thing. Effectively, a promissory note is like a check. So it's like you're saying, hey, when you give me money, I'm going, I'm going to write this check and give it to you today and you're going to give me the money. That's And this check is my promise to pay. Right. So it looks just like a check. If you look here, it talks about a lot of things here. So face value of the note, the term of the note, how you know, the length of the time um, pay to the order of. So this is actually um, the payee is the person who's um, set, effectively borrowing the money. Right. So the what did I say? The payee is the person who is lending the money. So what's going to happen is this company. Uh, is lending the money and then within 60 days they're going to be paid back so this is essentially that 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 promise to pay right and all the stuff is here the maker that's the person who's actually borrowing the money um the annual rate it's based upon the time you know you're going to do a, a prorated time that you're going to uh to actually borrow the money and the maturity date that's when that's the the uh time that it's actually due right so they brought october 2nd and it's due december 1st right so what we're gonna see is that this is kind of like what we we're talking about before but it is different right um because we're actually kind of paying in advance or we're, we're promising in advance and that note is a little bit different effectively what they call the discount is the um is the interest so when we think about discount we'll see a comparison here in a second but when we think about discount it's actually the interest that we're going to pay so let's look at this. Let's talk about some terminology first off. Sample, uh, simple discount note is a note in which the loan interest is deducted in advance. Okay, so you're actually, instead of getting the full amount that you borrowed, you're gonna get that amount less whatever the interest is right off the bat, okay? So ba the bank discount is the face value, which is, we know that that's the principal. The bank discount rate is the interest rate. It's just the rate that we're, we're charging or that the lender is charging, and then the time is the amount that they have borrowed, okay? So the bank discount, the interest that the banks deduct in advance. Um, maturity value is the total amount due at the end of the loan. What you're gonna see here is that um, that maturity value ends up being the face value, right? So the amount, the proceeds is the amount the borrower receives after the bank deducts its discount from the loan's maturity value. So the maturity value is the faced value of that note. If we go back and look at this, the face value is 10,000 here. That's the maturity value. In other words, when this bank gets their money, they're going to get $10,000. Due to the nature of, of this note, it's if, if you look at it as if I'm writing you a check in advance, then essentially what happens is I'm telling you how much you're going to get paid in advance. So therefore, that is the maturity value. That is the amount that you're going to get. So you're going to loan me something less than that. And we'll see how that plays out here in a second. Um, so the, the proceeds are the maturity value minus the bank discount. Um, the bank discount rate is the percent of interest. Before, in Chapter 10, P times R times T, that rate would, would tell us our interest amount. That was the formula for interest. And so what we would say is, hey, if I brought 1000 at 10% um, for one year, then you know that's a hundred dollars and then i would have to pay back that thousand and a hundred dollars but here what we're saying is hey we figured out the interest is a hundred dollars but we're going to deduct that now so when we give you the loan you're only going to get nine hundred dollars okay so let's look at how this situation works terrence ryan borrowed ten thousand dollars for 90 days from webster bank the bank discounted the note at ten percent what proceeds does Terrence receive? And you, we're going to use the U.S. rule or ordinary interest rule. Um, so we're going to use 360 days. 
Okay, so the bake discount is the face value, the principal, um, times rate times time. The principal, 10,000 times rate, 10% times time. 90 days out of 360. So if we work that backwards like we did before, 90 divided by 360 times 0 0.10 times 10,000, we get 250. Now, back in chapter 10, we would say that the, that the maturity value is we have to pay this 10,000 plus this 250. So the maturity value would be $10,250. But here, the maturity value is the face value. What they are going to get is that $10,000. So the amount that they're actually effectively borrowing is that $10,000 minus the interest that they have to pay. We're gonna pay this interest in advance. So the maturity value, the maturity value, 10,000 minus the bank discount, 250, which is basically the interest. The proceeds would be 9750. So the difference between chapter 10 and chapter 11 are really the same here, except that the effective rate is different because the proceeds that you would get from a loan, a simple interest loan, of fourteen thousand dollars is going to be fourteen thousand dollars and then you have to pay back this plus the eight percent whatever eight percent borrowed for 60 days out of a year would be right so here will be 360 divided by you remember the formula if we're looking for rate then rate is uh rate equals interest divided by the other two items um uh this would be principal in in chapter 10 which is really the proceeds as well um, but you see, if we work this out, we come up with 8%, but because in this situation, we're only getting 13, eight in the beginning, the effective rate, when you do the math is a little bit more. And I don't think there's anything necessarily shady about that. It's just, it's just the nature of this type of loan. Um, it, it's, it's, and, and we see semi similar things to that, um, like with a, uh, T note that we'll talk about here in a second, but I won't go over this. This is basically explaining what we just explained, but let's talk about effective rate. That's what we talked about before. The effective rate is interest divided by the proceeds or principal, um, times time. Well, it's going to be a little bit higher when you, when you pay that interest in advance. And that's what we just discovered. Now, a T-bill is effectively the same thing. It's a loan to the federal government. So we are actually the bank. When we buy those, we're not really buying. We're loaning the government money, and they're promising to pay us in the future, right? So the terms of the purchase can be 28 days or four weeks, 13 weeks, or a year, right? So look at how, how one of these would work. If you buy a $10,000 note, what you're saying is... um we actually are going to uh, spend, we're gonna get $10,000 in 13 weeks and it's gonna be discounted 4%. So how much will we pay and what's the effective rate? So what we're saying is how much are we loaning really? So we do this just like we did it before. This, this is gonna be the discount, right? So 13 divided by 52 times 0 0.04 times 10,000 is $100. So that's the discount. So we take that away from this $10,000. We actually pay $9,900. And then in 13 weeks, we get 10,000 back. So the we need to know the effective rate of that. Well, that 100, which is the interest or the discount divided by the proceeds times the amount of time that we had it borrowed or that that they had it borrowed right the effective rate is 4.04 so really what's happening is we're we're paying um we're investing we're loaning ninety nine hundred dollars and getting back ten thousand dollars the effective rate of that is 4.04, even though it's a 4% note. We're getting a little bit more than that because of the way that we're doing this, okay? Discounting interest-bearing notes before maturity. So sometimes you want to discount that note before it actually matures. Um, let's, let's talk about the process of doing this. You calculate the interest and maturity value of the original note. Calculate the discount period time. Um, 
that the bank actually is holding the note, calculate the bank discount, and calculate the proceeds. So if we look at this, this is a note, it's a 185 day note. Roger Company sold the following note to the bank. So what are they really saying? They're saying they're borrowing money essentially from the bank, right? So they're saying, I'm gonna give you $2,000 in 185 days. Um, the interest rate is, is um, 6%. So this is, this is getting a little bit confusing because the interest rate is 6%, the bank discount is 5%, um so we're gonna offer a discount if it's paid back within a certain period of time and we'll see how that plays don't let that don't let that confuse you um the date of but it has to be paid by august 9th so the first thing to do is figure out how many days it is between march 8th and august 9th now there's two ways to do it the the i think they talk about it here let's let's do that first they should have had this slide here so using the table calculation in the book if you go to the table and you look at the 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 uh, number by August 9th, you get 221 days. By March 8th, you get 67. So you subtract those and you come up with 154 days. That's great if it's handy for you, but I always just count the days, right? So in March, there are 23 days left because it's on March 8th. And then uh, using the knuckle thing again, right? So under the knuckle, on the knuckle, under the knuckle, under the knuckle, um, you just, or you can use a calendar. 23 days left in March, 30, 31, 30, 31. And then it's on August 9th. So nine days in August. When you add this up, it's 154 days. Okay, so going back, it's 154 days, but the actual loan is due some 31 days later. This is important to know. This is important to know because it's a 185-day note, and um, but we're paying it early. And so this is interest that you really shouldn't have to pay. So let's see how that actually goes. So what are Roger's uh, interest and maturity value? So interest is um, 61.67, right? If he's, he's borrowing the interest on the whole note, if he had this whole note would be 185 days, right? So um, if you work it backwards, 185 divided by 360, um times 0 0.06 times uh 2000 the interest that he would pay is 6167 okay so the maturity value when we look at how we would have done it before it's going to be 20 2000 plus 6167 that's the maturity value but what are the discount period and bank discount well we we have to figure out the number of days right um if you look at this 185, 185 minus the 154 is actually 30 de 31 days, right? So if you look at 31 days times 360 times point or 31 days divided by 360 times 0 0.05 times this total amount, then our discount is actually going to be 888, right? So what are the proceeds? You take this total amount and subtract 888 from it. So instead of getting this 2061, they only get 2052.79. So it's important to note, we got this number by saying, wait, it's 150, it's 185 day note, but we had it borrowed for 154 days. So the rest of that time is time that we shouldn't have to pay interest on. So we get we actually get a discount for that. And that again is how you how you figure out those days. Okay, so I know that was fast. I know it's a, a lot coming at you. It's kind of similar, but a little bit different. Uh, but as always, if you have any questions at all, please, please, please reach out to me. Good luck, everybody.